Well, just 53 days to go until the 2016 election, and new polls out this week suggest the race is growing tighter by the day. Tonight, there is another state to add to the list of key territories where Donald Trump is gaining ground. In Michigan, Trump trails Clinton by just three points, 35 percent to Clinton's 38 percent. That is quite a shift from just last month when Trump faced an 11-point deficit. That's on top of another poll out of Ohio, this one from Suffolk University, that has Trump up by three in that state. The third Ohio poll in two days with Trump in the lead. Joining me now, Chris Dyerwald, our Fox News digital politics editor. Chris, good to see you. And now, here, here goes Michigan, a state that is expected to vote Democrat, that typically votes Democrat, and it's down to three now. I mean, something huge happened in the past seven days. That's the bottom line. Just one week ago, she was in a great position. Seven days later, she's got to be crying in her soup. Well, we have a, not an unprecedented, I would say it would be an unprecedented collapse for Hillary Clinton's uh, poll numbers, except for the fact that she's done it before. If you look at her trajectory line over the, over the arc of this election, which got started, really the general election got started in early May, she goes along and then she goes boom, and then she does boom, and she hits these speed bumps and falls apart. What did and she do? Was it basketball of deplorables? Was no. it the collapse at the ceremony? So the deplorables part relates more to the strengthening. We see a slight strengthening in Trump's numbers. He's up in Michigan and Ohio, a couple few points here and there. But what you see that makes the race so much closer is that she's falling apart. And I would say that this has to do with the, the health problems and the lying about the health problems. And then before that, you had this concatenation of news about emails, but also about funny business with the Clinton Foundation. So she has had a drumbeat of negative stories and things that really reinforce the things that people like least about her and her husband and their family. Mm -hmm. And so now Trump has rebounded in Ohio and how. Uh, he's right there in Florida as well. North Carolina has tightened significantly. I mean, if he gets those three, does he need Pennsylvania? Does he need Virginia? Colorado's tightening too. Without, if he can't have Virginia and Colorado, then he will need Pennsylvania or something else big, and that's where we would look at Nevada, Iowa, Minnesota. There are states. He's winning in Ohio by a lot, right? I mean, Iowa by a, by a lot right now. Exactly. Iowa looks very good for him. This is the kind of state, a massive white population and a lot of uh, older white voters uh, without college degrees. This is the Trump demographic that works so well for him. And there are a lot of those voters in Michigan. And that's why the map could look different this year. Uh, but I would also point you to this, Cam. Counselor. When we look at these numbers, probably the most striking thing is how few people, <laughs> relatively speaking, are voting for or are expressing a preference for these candidates. Four years ago at this point, when our Fox News poll was in the field, we found that about 10 percent of people either had no opinion or were voting for a minor party candidate. It's double that this time around. And now we're talking about one in five voters does not express support for either of the two major party candidates. That means there is still a lot of snap left in the line here, and it's going to be exciting. What, what makes you think, before I let you go, whether that they're going to vote at all? Well, that's, this is, now you, you asked the perfect question. We have no idea whether people who say they can't be bothered to choose between the chicken entree or the fish entree, whether or not they're really going to end up ordering at all, or are they just going to leave the banquet hall hungry? I think it's just going to hit the martinis. Chris, great to see you. <laughs> you bet. That's what makes them happy.